more hatchlings, more snails, more eggs, more everything under snow farming. I just started with the tie system and still I'm making progress. If you do the right thing, it doesn't matter the system you are using, you are going to make progress. Now, let me um, tell you something about what I intend to do. My next um, video will probably be under, I'm, I'm changing the system to the wooden type, you know, because my snows are getting um, many, so I have to like change um, the system. So as you can see, this is me feeding my hatchlings you know i'm feeding my hatchlings i'm trying to remove what's being consumed and bring new one so i'm making progress you can see you are you are on this channel you can go to my channel you will see all the process how i started doing this now you can see my eggs are successfully hatched they have successfully hatched so it means i'm doing the right thing so if you want to see more videos on how to incubate your eggs go to my channel there are videos to confirm that but i'm going to take you through that in a bit you understand yeah so let's recap so this is egg that i buried today i found this egg in the soil of um different type and this is another type where i keep my eggs should them um, the eggs in the boxes and are, are filled up so this is the place where i store some of my eggs so you can see i've dug small hole and i've placed the eggs there so i'm going to cover it with the same sun in there you understand the soil has to be moist uh -huh, for it to be able to incubate early as we are going on we are learning the more the soil gets wet the more the egg hatch in um, at early stage you understand you see i'm just sprinkling this on it it should be something few so that when the egg hatch the uh, hatchlings can come out you understand i mix this sand with um sandy soil i mix the loamy soil with sandy soil a bit of sandy soil to make the soil a bit soft should um it hatch so they can come out so if you have more space you can do this you have more tight space you can do the used one for like spare purposely for um incubating your eggs you understand then we move on or you can use the box you can use the box you see the box one two is okay where you 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 find something like this all this video is in my past videos you can see it i did this particular video i did it if you go through my videos you are going to see it that i've done it so if you don't have enough space to incubate your eggs you can do something like this whereby you find something like um uh, a medium where you put the sand in treated sand this is the loamy soil mixed with sandy soil then you are going to put the eggs in note once you done make sure you water it every three days every three days you sprinkle water on it for three to for you sprinkle water on it before um all the egg hatches for 21 days sometimes to be more than 21 days sometimes to take like um like um 25 um week sorry 25 um days you understand for it to hatch sometimes you can take like two months for it to hatch don't worry just sprinkle water on it and everything will be okay so this is how we are we, we, we do everything this is a quick review on how you are going to incubate your eggs you understand and once this thing is hatched once this thing is completed in the next video coming you will see the difference you see how it looks here and how it looks here you see here it looks moist moist because i sprinkled water on it as time went on you understand then you feed in you use oko leaves oko leaves coconuts um sorry oko leaves cocoyam leaves uh, moringa um dandelion um watermelon you f you feed them with them like i'm um, this is oko leaf it gives them calcium if you don't have cal from lit um calcium feed sorry yeah so you can see you see how they've consumed it they love it so yes I, they really love it so these are times types of the feed that you have to give to your snails you can try formulated feed that have more calcium but you shouldn't do it that much me i have no used this formulated feed yet you understand so you can see everything everything is very nicely here you can see this is calcium eggshell that have grinded you know i'm mixing it with the soil so they can get enough calcium calcium is really needed at this stage 
of the hatchlings you understand at this stage the, the calcium is really needed so you provide them with calcium and then you see you you're making progress so now i'm going to move to the wooden types of snow farming i'll be updating you on that you have that one too moreover i also have a farm in the village that i'm yet to finish you know that one is a is a is the bricks one so you see i not just start all of a sudden and then entered into snow business now i've become perfect in it or let's say i'm learning i'm still learning i'm still perfecting it but what the knowledge i have now it's plenty it's enough for me to start my business i can even help people build their farm i can even manage larger scale business you see you see everything is a process now i'm washing this before you feed them make sure you wash everything neat and then give to them so you can see this is how you start your business so please subscribe to this channel like and comment please the, the more you subscribe the more you like the more you share that is where me i'm in tools to do more videos for you so please don't forget to subscribe to this channel please subscribe to this channel let's grow this channel so we all we can be happy on this platform because when you people don't subscribe when you put on like me i don't take money for anything it is your subscription it is your like that will also help me get some momentum get something here to always provide you with information you understand i can choose to just keep my videos to myself my practice to myself and not show anybody here you understand but this is business and people have to be enlightened so please keep on subscribing keep on sharing you can also contact me if you need my number just comment